and what's up. So Kendrick Perkins talked about that the NBA is geared for the white European players to get the MVP. He talked about the year Steve Nash got the back-to-back. He talked about Dirk Nowinski, and he talked about Jokic. And my thoughts was this. The year Nash won, I thought Shaq should have gotten it. Shaq ball that year. He had an incredible year in Miami. And they had the same record as Phoenix. Got to the Western Conference Finals, got to Game 7. So I never understood why not. And I never understood why there wasn't an East and a West MVP. I've never gotten it. They do it in baseball. I don't know why the NFL, and I don't know why the NBA doesn't. But they have all-star games. Does that make any sense? If you have two different leagues, you should have two different MVPs. That's how I've always felt. Because it made sense. There was not a unanimous across the board. So I never got that. Then, when I think about Dirk Nowinski, it kind of felt like a token one, you know. But then again, I, you know, I was thinking about Kobe's one in 2008. I thought that was a token one because I thought he had better years, but they sometimes give it to one. But the thing I think where well, I don't trip on Dirk so much is because Dirk Nowinski was actually got to a finals. He actually was a great all-time player, unlike Steve Nash and Nikola Djokovic. And Djokovic's story is still being told, but this turkey's been the one Western Conference Finals in the bubble, but he's been pretty much softy, been like a bigger version of James Harden in the postseason. They ain't exactly left a lasting imprint. So, and right now, when they give out the MVP, what does it really mean? When's the last time it was validated? I mean, when you think about it. I mean, when you look at it, you kind of got to ask yourself, because uh, when you get past LeBron and Steph, and you go Giannis. Giannis was the last one who got it, who won the finals, won the chip. But so much of it has been kind of forgotten. It's been blurry the last few years. But we talk about white players getting anointed, foreign white players getting anointed. You know, they. I, I, I did have a question with Steve Nash's MVPs because he was a very good player, but I didn't think he was great. I think he, and I'm surprised, you know, he don't get drug tested because I thought his last, I mean, two years when he got it, he never played like that. He played good, but I never was blown away by him. I never thought he was in the same class as Jason Kidd or Gary Payton in those uh, early OOs. Sorry, just didn't. Just didn't. He did good, but Phoenix should have been in the finals one of them years, and he didn't. Dirk. I don't trip on Dirks, but I do think they gave him one. But I don't trip on Dirk because he wasn't to the finals twice in his career. And he was a finals MVP. And he took what I consider a lesser overall talent team and won the chip. Dirk didn't have a prime Jason Kidd. He had a good enough Jason Kidd. He had Jason Terry. But that wouldn't be a team with Peja Stalkerich, who was past the pool date at that time. That wasn't exactly a team that you were going to sit there and go, oh, you know, uh, you know, Tyson Chandler, and I don't understand why Cuban didn't bring him back, but he still did, you know. I don't trip on the Dirks per se, but it is questionable. As far as Jokic go, well, yeah, you know, I mean, I know that the print Kendrick wants Joel B to get it. Giannis is making a strong case for this year. So they'll be interested in what they do this year. Um, but there is going to be bias. The NBA is still considered a predominantly black game. Um, and the appeal and the players. But they give out something. They don't have an American white boy player that they can get behind. You know, they would have loved Kevin Love had to turn to be that dude. He wasn't that dude. They're always looking for the great white hype and hope. That's shipped and pretty much sealed in the NBA. So you got to go overseas to get one and kind of hope that that kind of springs. So, um, you know. We'll see. But anyway, that's just my thoughts and takes about Kendrick Perkins bringing the race account about Nash, Dirk, and Jokic. He has a point, and I definitely, out of all that, I always had an issue with Nash and Joke. Bit. Not so much Dirk, but Dirk did feel like he got a token one. But I got more respect for Dirk's overall career than them two turkeys combined because he did get to two finals, and he did carry a team. Jokic has arguably has a better cast, and Nash definitely had a better cast than Dirk. So it makes it interesting to pay, but please hit like, subscribe, work on thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the video if you want to. And uh, 
It makes a good argument. I'm out.